Starbucks young people. I'm like, this is a city of uh, work and working young people. Yeah. When I go on social media, they don't I live see here. all kinds of things posting <laughs> racism. They don't live here. And there's an insurmountable amount of it. Oh, she, I go everywhere in Walmart. I go to Walmart. I don't see any racism. Again, as, as I said, mileage may vary. Everyone has different perspectives. Different. Yeah, everyone has different I'm perspectives. I'm saying my personal opinion and what I see, I don't see any racism, but it's all over social media. Well, again, mileage, you know, mileage may vary. I think just to talk about facts, because I want to give one in terms of young people, our median age in Boca is in the mid 40s. Um, a lot of people wouldn't know that. That's why when Bloomberg called us suddenly cool, like, well, we're not all old people. I'm raising. I have a, I would still like to think of myself as young. Um, for mayors, I'm pretty young. Uh, when I joined the city council, I was younger by 20 years than my next colleague. So I, well, I guess, you know, that, that kind of being in government makes you feel a little bit younger. My kids are young. The schools are brimming with people, so much so that's why I highlighted that we needed a, you know, a third new public school. We're really special. We were like, I said that, like, we were already slated to get two of the first new seven there's two of seven public schools going in countywide. Two were coming to Boca Raton because we had a demand for it. And then we hustled and got a third one. We snatched it away. It was going to go on West County. And we snatched it away. And that's had dramatic impacts. The biggest growing pain, I think, is that some parents are going to have to move over to a brand new state of the art school. And yet, you know, they love Calusa so much that some of them didn't want to go. I thought it would be the reverse. I thought people would be tripping over themselves to get into the new school. But I think, you know, once that's set, people are going to be very happy. So, you know, we've had a dramatic increase. And by the way, I can go back from stats from two years ago. Um, it was the school district did a study in late 2018, early 2019, talking about the growth of the student population. About 92% of it was going into existing single family homes. Um, people were just, you know, aging out, selling their homes to the next generation. It's not a matter of development that's bringing them here. In fact, we do studies when we build these multifamily units the ones over, you know, say on Yamato Road, very few students are projected to go there. And then when they actually do the student censuses, very few students there. So um, it's it's really just people are flocking here for what we've had traditionally too. Could I, can I ask uh, let me, I, everyone's gotten one. Anyone not ask a question yet? All right, we may end up early. No, no, I, I should show up the informational video more. Anyone want to talk about the film they saw? Yes, go ahead, please. <laughs> 